Hello, this is Jim Hanrahan from Charlotte, and this is my video blog on professional counseling skills. The task at hand this week was to watch uh, three separate videos of counseling sessions. They were brainstorming, dancing or helping, and finally homesick. After, uh, after having watched the videos, uh, first question posed is, are these sessions similar to what I imagine a counseling session to be? And as I've been in counseling myself uh, several times in my life, uh, I don't have to imagine too much, but I, I will say that these absolutely run parallel with uh, the professionalism that I've dealt with. I think that all three counselors did a fine job in um, the sessions and engaging their clients. Um, secondly, from our readings in chapter eight, what skills and counselor characteristics did you notice? And I, I think the first one, and this actually goes back to uh, chapter four, was all three counselors exhibited a wonderful sense of empathy with their with their clients. They did a a great job of trying to put themselves in their situation. I felt and being open, and and I really felt that the clients themselves responded to this. Um, that they, they were able to create that bond with them. So that was uh, that was very impressive. Now, in, in terms of the skills that were used, um, I'll just go through chapter eight line by line. Uh, the, the first is uh, open questions. I, I feel that uh, they absolutely did a wonderful job with uh, asking the clients open questions to see where they were. Uh, encouragers, absolutely. Uh, a lot of nodding, uh huh. Yes, you know, just little things to help move the conversation along. Uh, close questions. So the, they they absolutely put those in there. Paraphrasing, taking what the the client had said, rephrasing it to uh, show that they understood what they were saying. Building that trust again. I thought that they did that very well. Uh, reflection of feelings. Absolutely, they were able to identify the uh, the client's emotions. The reflection of meaning, they, they again, they were able to um, identify what the problem means to the client and um, bring the summary of the whole story together. I think they, they did a, a great job. In terms of differences and similarities uh, that I noticed between the three counselors, I, I think mainly the similarities were uh, they were all very empathetic, very professional, um, great body language, eye contact. I, I think you could tell that these were three very professional counselors who have been doing this for a while. Um, differences, I, I think in the differences, I think I'd go more towards the clients themselves. Um, I feel that in um, brainstorming and dancer, the clients were much more open to the experience. Whereas I, I think that uh, the young lady in homesickness was uh, she was a little bit more of a challenge. She seemed to be a little more withdrawn. Um, I felt that the counselor had to work a lot harder in order to get answers out of her and that uh, that obviously um, at some point, particularly towards the end, I felt that the counselor was maybe leading her a little bit more than um, I, I, I would like to see, but that, that's just my opinion. But I, I thought that um, she would say something and the client would say, uh-huh, yeah, and she would go with that. So I, I, I felt that that was a difficult situation for her, her to manage. Um, and finally, uh, what questions do I have about counseling session and how skills are used? And I one thing that I noticed is they, they none of them seem to be taking any notes. And... I, I know that I don't have the best memory, and I, I'm just wondering how they're able to retain all of that information and how I'm, I'm going to be able to retain all the information given, given that uh, setting with a client. So uh, maybe that's just their, their years of experience, but uh, I, I would like to know how they did that. Anyway, thank you for listening again, and we will talk next time. Thank you.